Um, one of the things that I have found in a history of from time to time, not always, but from time to time going around and debating people on the issue of evolution, which is after all what I expected might take place tonight, um, is that debaters on this issue claim to lead a purely scientific movement. And the pictures you see up here are from a debate in which I participated uh, about three years ago in Columbus in front of the Ohio Board of Education. And the topic at that time was whether intelligent design should be included in the curriculum of Ohio public schools. Now, one of the things that's striking about this is this purely scientific movement attracts an awful lot of support, which is not necessarily scientific. And I want to show you a picture that was taken outside the auditorium in Columbus on the way in. And this gentleman here was in the business of telling me and other people exactly where we would spend eternity if we were foolish enough to take the side of Charles Darwin. It's very clear that this is an issue that arouses very strong and very strongly felt religious feelings. And you might ask yourself, you know, why is that? Um, why, for example, is evolution under attack? Biology is a field that has many disciplines. And if you're going to take one thing out of the biology curriculum, why would you take out evolution? What's special about that? I mean, why not take out cell biology or physiology? Or for God's sakes, why not organic chemistry? Um, um, I can see we have the makings of a popular movement. And I apologize in advance for any chemists who might be in the audience. Um, it's a cheap shot. I realize that. Um, but what's the reason? The reason opponents of evolution will often say is because evolution is very shaky science, and we want to get the science right. But if you go to a website such as Answers in Genesis, which is the leading anti-evolution organization in the United States, you'll find a very different set of reasons. And I invite you to take a look at this graphic. Evolution is depicted as the foundation of lawlessness, homosexuality, pornography, and abortion. Not just that it's wrong, but it is the source of all of these bad things, whereas creationism is the source of a lot of good things. Now, if this is not graphic enough for you, I've got another one that I think will help. And this is also from Answers in Genesis. And I show this not because I want to make fun of it, but because I want to make a deadly serious point. And I like to show this to academic audiences, because academic audiences often think this really is an argue about sci argument about science. And they say, how about if we did this experiment? How about if we showed them this fossil? How about if we did this in the laboratory? Would that convince them? Well, take a look at this. If you regard evolution as the foundation of divorce, pornography, abortion, racism, and all this other bad stuff. Whether it's right or not, in the scientific sense, doesn't matter. Because it is the source of everything that is wrong and evil in society. And what I love about this is the founder of evolution, I can't read that name here, I'm sure you can, but it's not Darwin, um, it's somebody else. And if you portray, if you view evolution in this respect, of course you're going to oppose it, you're going to oppose it deeply.